We're talking with Jill Bellin this morning. She's hanging out at a very cool science fair, and I've been told, Jill, that you're hanging out with snakes now. No live snakes allowed at the science fair, but this is something that Matthew actually was researching where to find snakes in the city. Your project is called Snakes in the City. Uh, now tell us a little bit about what you were looking for, Matthew. Well, we were looking for two types of snakes, the wandering and red-sided, mm -hmm. in Fish Creek Park in Calgary. So you actually went snake hunting? Yeah. Okay. It was pretty cool. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Okay. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about why you wanted to do this. Well, I've always like liked snakes, and I wanted to see how they lived okay. in the city. So that's, that's what you were observing? So tell us a little bit about uh, your research and what you were measuring. Well, we were like measuring their length and mass. Mm -hmm. And like all the snakes we captured, we would put them in, in like the monitoring book, as you can see here. Yeah. Lots of data. Yeah. Okay. So you gathered lots of data. Did you find a lot of snakes in Fisher Creek Park? Yeah, a lot. Over like 400. Over 400? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's quite a dig. How long did it take you to gather all this data? Uh, about like a year or two. Really? Yeah. Okay, so this is something that you find really fascinating. Uh, what were you hoping to achieve with researching the population of snakes in Fish Creek Park? Well, I, we wanted to like, help the snakes survive in the city and to keep like a stable population around Calgary. Okay, so in, in your opinion, is there a stable population of snakes in Calgary? Yeah, I think so. There is. Okay, yeah. so what other conclusions did you find in this research? Well, we found that there was a, like, a lot more wandering gar snakes and red-sided yeah. in here, and the, the wandering were much bigger, too. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so in this research, uh, what other questions came about in, in studying the snakes in the population? Well, we wanted to know, like, could they keep living in the city, and, like, like is the, are the largest snakes always females, or are they sometimes males? We wanted to know that sort of stuff. And, and what do you think? What are the answers? Well, we found out that the largest snakes were almost always females because, like in most gar snake species, they are always the bigger because yeah. they have to have the children. So did you bring snakes at home in the course of this research? Uh, no, we didn't bring snakes home, but we did look at them and I like, touched them. And, yeah, yeah okay. it was cool. I think they belong outside. Yeah. Yeah. We, we agree on that point. Uh, snake population healthy in this city. I'm not sure how I feel about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty harmless, the snakes around these parts, I would garter think. Garter snakes. Yeah. I grew up with garter snakes. Didn't do a science project on them. <laughs>